Hello and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. We are going to continue in endless mode. With, uh... I noticed that every time I loaded this, the notes change, so... That's exciting for me. Day one, I have entered a spoopy ghost mansion. I do not know how long I will be here, but I hope not too long. Me too, buddy. Me too. All right, where? Fuck you. I'm gonna try to be better about uh, killing all of the cardboard jump scares that come out at me. I also hated, just hated editing the last episode. I don't know what it is, but hearing me press the space bar over and over again is so annoying. So I reassigned one of the buttons on my mouse to the, the space button, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. Day two, today I saw quite a spook. I'll admit it was scary, but not as scary as I've seen in some horror games. That's true. The spoops in this game are not as bad as those seen in other horror games. There's a lot of notes here. Day three, I am beginning to get hungry and thirsty. I did not bring much food other than my cheesy curds. I hope I will find more food soon. That'd be tight. I love, I could go for some cheesy curds. Cheese curds are delish, especially if you get the ones from, uh, what's that place? Uh, Culver's? Culver's has got good cheese curds. I mean, that that's like for a fast food place. I'm sure there's other places that do much better cheese curds than Culver's, but I very much appreciate the fact that Culver's, in my opinion, as far as like the fast food places near me, they have the best cheese curds and the best onion rings. A lot of people really like, uh, Portillo's for most things. I like Portillo's, but I, I like the, ch the 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 onion rings from Culver's better. I think that um, I don't know something about the batter fried ones like that aren't without the crispies. Day four. All right, I am tired of this place. Today, a scary slime man attacked me, sort of, and I ran away. Hasn't happened to me yet. I've been lucky to not have seen a spooky slime man. Day four, I wish I had Wi-Fi here. That remains the scariest aspect of all in this place. I can't check my online profiles or post my daily thoughts. It is making me build up tension. Yeah. I feel like in this situation, I would be more than okay with not being able to check social profiles. Granted, it means that I wouldn't be able to upload them YouTube videos every day, but I'm really bad at, uh, I like social networking. I'm not good at Facebooking. I'm not good at tweeting. I'm not good at Instagramming. Uh, my buddy Nick, who I do a lot of these videos with, uh, currently doing like the Saw games. And before that we did, um, what's it called? Uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. He decided he wanted to try to be my marketing person, like a marketing manager. So he went ahead and set up uh, like social accounts, even though I already had a Twitter and an Instagram, he wanted to set me up with brand new ones dedicated solely to the YouTube. So he did that and I've yet to use them at all. Like I, I use the Twitter, which, oh shit, you guys can follow me if you want to, twitter.com slash Dolph Tondu, but I'm not good at it. I don't know what to tweet. I don't know what a uh, fucking YouTube gamer tweets. Shit. It's difficult. It's difficult to think about tweeting at a time like this. And by that I mean I don't feel like I have anything interesting to say within 140 characters. Day 6. I'm s so... I'm pretty much dead now. I don't think I can go on and I know the world will miss me. But I don't... But don't worry, world... This is written badly. World. I am still pretty hardcore for making it <laughs> this long, I suppose, but as a. Uh, but it was a frightful journey, kinda. Not frightful enough. 
I think one of the things that I want to do better in general is, um, like, be better at talking to you, the viewers, while doing my videos, because I want to get to know you guys. Anyone who's willing to sit and watch one of my shitty videos, somebody I want to get to know. But it's hard. Also, I think I might have to start doing face cam. Just cause I think that that's like the secret. The the secret ingredient is like. I got a I got a real pretty face. And I feel like I need to start showing that off more. I don't have a good camera though. That's the that's the biggest problem. I don't have a, I don't have like a like a DSLR or anything like that. I also think I want to start live streaming again. Just to kind of talk to people more while I play games. I think it, it was helpful like when I was first starting out to do live streams because it kind of got me used to the idea of talking to no one but still trying to present it to people like, you know, talking like someone's there. And then if nobody watched the stream, at least I was learning how to talk. Obviously, it's like a good situation when there are people watching and interacting, but you can't always ask for that. Or you can't always expect it, I should say. Whoa. Okay. This kind of sucks that it's starting at 95 because this feels like a new kind of specimen that I really want to see, but I feel like I'm going to make it to a hundred before... before I really get to know who this person is. Like, is this cold? Is that what this is? Who knows? Save it even though it doesn't do anything. Day seven. While I'm at the end of my ropes, I shall press on anyway. I have eaten the last of the cheese curds and haven't found any new food. There is something down the hallway, I believe. It's getting closer. Oh, why? Why is this has to happen to me? Why has this has to happen to me? Okay. Don't don't. Damn it. I wish I could have seen more of what that specimen was, but like now I don't think I'm going to ever see that again, which is kind of nice. Oh shit. Damn it. Fuck. I don't like those when you find a locked fucking door. Super not fun. Oh no. Long hallways. Mm -hmm. All I have to do to make myself feel better is make it past room 116. I do that and I feel good about myself. If I don't do that, whew, what a failure. Basically, I have to make it farther than I did yesterday. Okay, there we go. Oh, I hear something coming. I don't like it. I haven't been uh, jump scared by a cardboard in a while. Okay, we are at room 116. And I have officially made it farther than I did yesterday. So that is good. I just got to keep on trucking. Not scared of you. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So now I'm going to fight... What is it? White face? I think. Either that or this is different. I don't know. It's like kind of weird staticky. Fuck. This is where I... If it is... If it is the I'm scared guy, I died from him last time. So I kind of don't want it to be him. I wonder if I have to only make it 50 rooms and then there's like that save point. Jeez. What a long hallway. Oh shit, yep, it's him. So, oh fuck, come on. Damn it, I'm out of stamina. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
Come on. I can do this. I just gotta keep keep going. Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Come on, man. I looked up online to see like how to get past him. Basically it's just outrun him. Which is no fun. Like the outrun. Oh shit. God damn, this sucks. Oh, this is not fun. And the staticky noise is getting louder. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Oh no. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, there's the door. Oh, I'm dead. Let's go this way. Fuck. Damn it, it's locked. Oh shit, yep, I am going to die. The nice thing is, from what I, I read, you, once you are ca like kind of captured by him... Shit, this is gonna be locked too? Damn it, of course it's fucking locked. Okay, so... It says game over, death, no escape. Dolph Tondu. Look at you, uh-huh. How sad, yep. Just give me the option. Your body is all closed up. Okay, so if I open, it's going to show me that, and then I can run from him. And that's like the only way to get away is to run from him. So I'm hoping that I can do that this time. Fuck, nope, it closed. <laughs> All right, so let's get, uh, let's get back into it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, God. It's this fucking thing again. Ah, it's my least- one of my least favorite fucking attacks. I can do it, I can do it, I can get out. I gotta trust that my eyes cannot see the truth. Fuck this thing. That's good, I think I'm pretty far ahead of it, I must be. Damn it. Hell yeah. God damn it. Oh man, I can't fucking see. There it is. Thank God they like kind of help you out with that. I got lost. I'm doing horribly when it, uh, in terms of Remember when I said I was going to try to kill all of the cardboard cutouts? Yeah, haven't haven't been paying too much attention to that. Most of the time they jump out at me cuz I'm in the I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to run real fast. <sighs> Almost to 100. I forgot what I made it to last time. Probably somewhere like 130ish. Yeah, so I got a mostly I just want to get to 150. That's what I want to do. Fuck. I want to see like that. There you go. That was for me. I want to see some more specimens. Like I want to see what was causing, I think it was like cold. I think it was like a chilly thing. I want to see what that is. I'm tired of the I'm scared guy. I've died from him twice now. A strange ghost girl appeared before me today in a rather upset and unromantic manner. She claims I am not doing my job and that I should report to my commanding officer immediately. I boldly stated that I have no commander as I drift wherever the wind takes me as I follow my own romantic journey. To this, she acted confused and slowly sunk into the floor. So we got the romantic person back from the main story, which is good. Well, I haven't encountered the white face guy yet, so that's something. I like that. That was a cute jump scare. Oh shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Instantly. Like, I just... Uh, I think that's gonna do it for me today. 
Uh, I'm sorry I didn't make it that far. Endless mode is a lot harder than I thought it would be. And without like a set structure the way that the main story game is, it's very difficult when you encounter new specimens that you don't really know how to deal with that kill you and then you have to start over from the beginning and then probably not even face them again because of the randomness of endless mode. I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna jump back into this or not yet. I might take a couple of days off and practice up, you know, try to get try to get good, as they say. So thank you for joining me and I will be back tomorrow with another video. Don't know what game yet, but uh, I'll be back. If you have a game in mind or if you'd like to see me play more of this game, let me know in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.